Hey guys, welcome back to my tutorials. Now that you guys know how to, well, now that you guys know everything about events, let's put it all together into this final videos on events before we move on to the next section. That way you guys see the relation with, between maps and events. So remember I mentioned that we're gonna make a little game where you have to find the key in order to leave this um, room, right? So let's go ahead and delete all these events that we have on the map, right? We have our player, right? Right here. So there's a couple of things I'm gonna show you guys. We have quick event creation. So these are for events that you're gonna be making over and over and over again, right? So we're gonna make, we're gonna use one of them. This one is called the transfer. This one lets you quickly make a transfer to a different map location. And we're gonna make this into our main game world. Actually, let's make it into the town, right? So that's one way to make events. And I'm gonna copy this over, paste it. Remember, you could copy and paste events. So some of the other options you have are transfer, I mean transfer, which is the one we just talked about. Door. So you can make a quick door. The door works the same way as a transfer, but the only difference is it gives you a door and it also plays the animation for that door right the next one we have is treasure so you could have quickly give um, a player an item right so let's go ahead and give them an item for the key they need to leave and I'm just gonna make this um, an item I've already made because we haven't talked about making items yet so I'm gonna put this here right and then the other option you have for quick event creation is you could quickly make an end right the end is pretty much you pick a lady or and an, uh, you know what they look like right you pick the price of the inn and then it's set up and we're going to go through what the actual events look like so just give me one second and the last option you have is the switch right so you could pretty much pick what you want that switch to do so let's make it just turn on the game start right so we're going to put this here so let's study all these little events and see what they're doing behind the scenes so if we open up this one as you can see all the transfer does is just plays an SE and transfers the player. And if you go to event commands, it's in movement, transfer player, and it's just setting all these settings for you, right? So cancel, cancel. The door, again, does the same thing with the transfer. It still plays the SE and it still does the transfer, but now it plays an SE for the door opening and it also has a little um, event movement which is just turning this sprite around and as it's turning the sprite around it's just animating the door right the chest is similar to the door but at the end see it plays the se for the door opening does the little turning around which again turns the npc i mean this sprite to open up right and then it turns on the switch right and then it gives you a key and then it tells you that you've received that key, right? And then also, since the switch is turned on, the self switch, it goes to the next event page, which is just the chest being opened, right? Uh, and then with the end, it says, hey, it tells you how much gold it is for one night you wanna stay. It gives you a choice. If you say yes, it checks if you have the gold, which is that flow control, right? Which is the condition, it checks that. And then if it does a whole bunch of stuff to recover you and then else it says you don't have enough gold, right? The switch is simple. It just does the animation that the other things do. And then it just turns on the switch kind of like the chest. So if you kind of get the gist of it, all these quick events are, ooh, no, I actually need that. Are all the same. We don't need the door. We're gonna get rid of that. We don't need the in. We don't need that. The player, the chest that we need. So here's what we're gonna do, right? If I wanna make my own chest, of course I could come here, I open up a new event, find the chest myself, right? It's down here somewhere and then do everything. But usually when I make chests, it's easier to have it do the animation and everything for you and then just edit what you need, right? So what I need to do is I don't want this key to be given right away. What I want to happen is I want there to be a random chance. So what we're going to do is we're going to control a variable. We're going to just pick variable number one, right? So variables are pretty much values, right? So the name of the va a variable, you pick which variable you want, right? And then you give it a value, right? Depending on that value, 
then you can make something happen if it's if it hits a certain value or if it's below a certain value or if it's higher than a certain value right so when you control your va variables you pretty much select which variable you want so you could either change one variable at a time or you could change multiple variables at the same time right and again we're gonna have a separate video on variables so don't even worry about this i'm just giving you guys a brief overview right the operation says hey what do you want to do to that variable that you're that you're working on right now right so if you set it whatever value you have down here it will set that variable to that value if you add whatever value you have down here that you set it will add it to whatever current value that the variable is so if the variable is currently at two and you add something that makes it that adds a three then the variable would then become a three right subtract you could subtract this so if it was a three and you subtract two then it'll become a one you can multiply divide or just get the modulos of the division if you're a programmer you'll use that but if not you'll probably be using the rest of these cool so the upper end is pretty much what is happening to this variable right what are you setting it to so you pick the variable you pick what you want to do to it right so i'm going to set it to you could either set it to a constant you could either set it to a different variable you could set it to a random value between um these two values you could set it to a game data right and the game data could be an item id a weapon id armor id your character level and a whole bunch of other stuff your enemy hp and a whole bunch of other stuff there's a lot of stuff you could actually set your variables to right uh, you could even do a run a custom script to set that variable to something but we're going to set it to a random var value between one and three right and then we're going to do a condition if that val variable is equal to one and then we're going to do um create else so we're going to just cut this and we're going to put all of this in one right so and then if it's not one i wanted to say empty right I don't even know why my keyboard is so much. I didn't move it right here. So pretty much what will happen here is it was going to play the sound effect. It's going to make the chest do the animation to open. It's going to run a, the variable. It's going to set it to a random number between one and three, right? If it equals to one, then we're going to have the room key. If it's not equal to one, then it's going to say it's empty, right? So we're going to copy this and we're going to paste this a couple times right and we're gonna also copy this event page paste this event page go back to the first event page actually no go to the second event page and we're gonna require an item right we're gonna require that same item that we just found which is a room key to activate this clear this page so this is always active this will only be active with the key and what we could do so you could set a graphic here for spike right put that spike here and we're going to delete this because this is just identical to this oh actually my bad right so we have this door right to leave us to let us leave the room but it's only active when we have the room key we have three chests right that um has a chance a one one third chance to give us the key but let's do one extra thing right let's also make control variable and we're gonna make this variable and we're gonna add one to it right so every time you talk to one of these chests and i'm gonna delete the rest of these chests and repaste them so every time you go to these chests it will increase the variable to one right and then what we're going to do so we're gonna delete this and we're gonna change this so if this equals to three we're gonna get the key, room key but we're gonna say you lose because you didn't find it. your luck wasn't good enough right and also we don't need this and also we also don't need all of this because the reason why i'm even trying to show you this is because we're going to use this variable here so when it's greater than or equal to three right so there's two ways to do conditions you could use this condition here to make it so for so it controls this page and also we need to this is fine and this is fine right so if we play this game that we just made as you can see it's three chests first of all let's turn the game switch on so it could be someone so this is empty this is empty 
we got the key and now if we come down here you see the door is open now we can leave right and the reason why when i talk to this one that this kind of like faced up is because if you look over here the reason why the spikes came back at, at the end is because if you look here the bottom one is for them facing facing towards the player so since the player interacted with them by default events will face that player so what you have to do is come here and put direction fix on direction fix on make sure you do that for both pages cool right and if all else fails and you don't get the key by the third try sorry guys i don't even know why i have this script on one second Ooh, all right hey guys look get my plugins get my plugins you see that that doesn't happen in the real game you see how you don't oh you see how you don't hear them till you're next to them get my plugin guys all right guys that's pretty much it for this video um so events are pretty cool the next tutorial series i'm going to be working on is showing you guys how to make various different little um event systems like npcs day and night systems mini games and a whole bunch of other stuff like that guys so stay tuned man i got exciting stuff coming up peace